Okay, four, you mean 7.8. Now we're gonna go back and it's, a lot of this is what stuff we've already done with describing things. But now we're just adding in the idea of a, a, a more extended dialogue where it starts with the premise, I lost something. Do you, have you seen it? What's it look like? Um, and you tell them, okay. But then add on one more, someone goes off, looks and says, mm, you mean this? No, 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 not this, this. Oh, let me go look, go back, come back one more time. This thing, yeah, okay, great, it's over here. Or, you know, that kind of thing. So it's just a couple more layers of clarifying. So um, there's not a whole ton of new stuff. And I don't know why, there we go. Um, so, as you can see, there's three different, <laughs> three different chunks, and normally we would sort of build on this in the classroom. Um, but since we're doing it online, we don't really have to go that crazy. Um, so we're going to start with hats, hat scarves, eyeglasses. Um, and that's what the book goes into and then applies the same stuff to things we've done in the past with tops and coats, shirts and blouses, coats and bags. Because um, I think it was 7.4 we talked about describing um, clothing in more detail and describing uh, purses and bags and backpacks. So it's a, a callback to that. Um, there's not a lot of vocab in this because of that second thing where we're going to be using descriptive classifiers. And we'll get into a little bit more of that. It's basically using your hands to draw what you're talking about in the air okay, or on your body, um, which we've already done. So really, there are two new signs, hat and scarf. And uh, there's a lot of different ways people sign scarf, 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 um, this is more of a bow. <laughs> um, but you can go over the head if you're talking about uh, a hijab or a niqab or something like that, or it can be a, you know, Bob Cratchit style or Tom Baker style scarf. Thank you for those few people who knew what I was talking about. Um, so the first is, uh, I put the vocabulary review because this seemed like the best time to put it. Um, same as we did with bags and things, there's a sequence of how you want to order the information. The first is name what it is. So whatever the vocab is, hat, um, scarf, blouse, bag, anything, jacket. Then if it's a prime, if it's got a primary color, uh, not meaning one of the primary colors, but meaning if it's predominantly one color, say that. So green shirt, even though it's got a plaid on it, it's still green shirt, right? And oftentimes I'll recommend getting used to signing the object shirt and then the color, as opposed to the way we do it in English, which would be green shirt. Um, because we're, again, we take, which is, which is the easier path to say all the things that are green, that are shirt, like, you know, shirt shaped or all of the shirt shaped things that happen to be green. Right. So the second one is, uh, starts with a far less broad category. All the things that are green have all sorts of different shapes, right? So we're going to start with all the shirts in the world. And we're only talking about the green ones. So then once we've done that, second step is describe the basic size and shape. Long sleeve, is it, uh, is it button down, whatever. And then any third is any other details. Where is there a name on the, on the pocket? Is there, uh, are there ruffles on the shirt? Are there stripes? Those kind of things, right? So again, that concept in ASL where we start with the broadest topic, um, and then work our way down to the fine details. Don't start with the fine details and work your way up. Um, and then all these different hats. Now, how we describe each of all of this different headwear is basically how do we show what it looks like on the body? And that's the descriptive classifiers, the DCLs. Um, and in each of the videos, they'll, they'll explain. So you've got a hat and you, put it down or put it down so it goes over the head, right? And then it's got a brim, right? It's got a bill. So we're just showing it. It could be flat. You may be one of the people who likes it flat or curved, right? Right. 
um, you could have it out the back and then you're covering your eyes because it's bright. Whatever. Um, and taking, uh, they, they give a more slow down example of it so you can follow it, but he basically says the same thing. Um, so copy, as I always say, copy the videos until you feel comfortable. Now with this one, hat that's got a brim, right? So got a hat that's brown, light, light brown, or it's not really yellow. And then here's the shape. So that also includes the size, right? Because it's not, it's, it's not, it's just, and then detail. Um, now this shape hat, hat, and it's, you put it on, put it on. I always do it with my left hand forward and then I'm stuck. Boom. And then it slopes down, right? Or because there isn't a separate brim, it's just a flat cap. We always called it a flat cap. So, and you can see it with one hand or with both. Um, really, again, you're just drawing it with your hands in the air. Um, this, for like a knit beanie, some people do it this way. I've always seen it done this way because that's how you pull it on, right? You grab it and pull it down. You're not really just like plastering your hair down. Um, so you'll see it either way. What I've seen most is hat. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Now earmuffs. Now we're going to talk about like, remember the handle of a bag, how you would describe, and then uh, the shape of the earmuffs. So if you go, shoo, right? So here's the, let me turn it There's the um, armature and then and then you could talk about remember from when we did fake and real way at the beginning of this unit. Um, so fake fur. So again, we get start from what's the main color, brown, right, and then the shape and size. Um, with this drawing, that's pretty much step two because the, the sign for earmuffs is just drawing it. There's no separate vocab. So that does combine one and two into the same concept. Because there's not, it's because it's not a hat technically. And then once again, there are all the ones, you should be able to describe all five of those right now, just after practicing through them. Of course, I'm assuming you've paused and practiced these and watched the videos. So here's a conversation that follows that same first pattern where a person goes out of the room, comes back. I don't know why he doesn't go with her. Um, maybe it's off limits. Only she's allowed back there. He's just uh, an interloper. You know. So scarves, scarves, um, scarves, no. Um, again, same thing. You're gonna say a scarf. What's the prime, the, <laughs> predominant color, um, then describe the basic. Is it long? Is it short? Does it hang down? You can also do it in the air, especially if it's a short, like just one of uh, one wrap. If it's a really long one, you might have to show that it goes around and then hangs down. Um, then what's the ba so basic size and shape? How big is it? What, how does it lay out? Is it, you know, if it helps to do it on the body, then great. Um, then the last thing is any details. So does it, I like to do it a scarf on the body. In the book, they do it this way. So she's like, fringe. I've never had a scarf that was that short though. So, um, Oh, that would be awkward. I would do it, hangs down and then has frills. That's how I would sign it. Um, and then once you, the other details are, is it, does it have white polka dots? Ba, 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 bum. Um, and we can go through each of them here. Um, not all of these have 
videos. So you just have to come up with it yourself. If, uh, if there's time, there's never time. Uh, I now have a space that I can put in the, uh, the videos if we create them. So polka dots, that one doesn't have fringe. Also knit or knit, knit. That's what it's made from, right? Knit. It has the little pom poms. Uh, be careful how you sign that because that's probably not a good choice. Um, oh, that was really, anyway. Does it have stripes? Stripes. Um, So again, practice with them. What's your scarf? What does it look like? Um, so then I replayed the stuff from 7.4 and put it in here as a good refreshment. Refresher, not necessarily refreshment. Um, of going through and how to describe. If you left your shirt in the other room, congratulations, I guess. Um, so talking about uh, tops for this, then coats, bags, and eyeglasses. Those are all the ones that we get into a little bit more uh, as it goes forward. Now we're going to look at um, 12 short videos. And I would say we're going to look at them. You're going to look at them because you put them in here. Um, I haven't embedded them all, but they will all be. In, uh, yes, I did embed all these. It's 7.9 next unit that I don't have more. In. So watch the video. And in it, she's going. the person's going to describe an object and talk about how they got it, some details about it, um, or what's going on with it. So I want you to pay attention to all that stuff. Just imagine that, take any salient notes for each one, and then it will have a picture of the object and then the, the notes on it. So we'll go through, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Um, it's all about the possessives. Of pronouns. And then a re repeat of that conversational pattern. So the big thing is imagine you've lost something and describe it. Or um, really, if you want to buy something and are looking for something, uh, imagine, you know, you're asking someone to look on Amazon for something that you want. Uh, so just that idea of asking each other questions and going back and forth. It's a good thing to practice and it's pretty easy and you can apply it to a lot of, a lot of situations. The, they just go with, I've lost it, because it kind of gives a, a more interactive dialogue. And then here's the vocab. And then I put in, I think this is all of the videos from the student text should be in there. Cool, so that's 7.8. It's not a very long chapter. Um, I think what's the remainder of unit seven are all pretty short ones and really eight and nine are pretty short units. Seven is a monster. Um, in the classroom, seven usually takes half of the semester and then eight and nine are the other half of the semester. So that, to give you an idea, if it feels like we're going slow, there's a lot of material uh, that I have to put into the, uh, into the lectures because we cover a lot of material for seven up to this point. Um, all right, so that's 7.8.